Well, Ricky B setting up. Um, I'd like to bring out Michael Heartbreaker from the commentary. How do you feel about so far? How the night's going? That was great. You know, that guy, I feel that the night is going really well. Um, I feel like, you know, Ricky B Stormrider, it's, it's going to be a great, great show. He's going to put on an amazing performance as usual. He always does. And every time he plays, it's different. I don't know if anybody notices that. It's like, he does different chords, he does different music, and that's really his, his talent. Because all these bands come on and they play the same song over and over again, but he plays the song and he plays it differently every single time, and I think that's a testament to his talent, that he doesn't restrain himself from how the song's supposed to go. You know, and like, the first time I heard Ricky Beanie's songwriter's uh, guitar solo, it was like the first time I dipped my, my penis into a very wet vagina. And, uh, you know, that feeling, you know, it stays with you forever, you know? Let the champ go through. Let the champ go through. Oh, Miss Daddy, you champ. All right. You guys are ready for this? It doesn't sound like anybody's ready for Ricky B. Storm Rider. Yeah, you guys gotta get involved. He's awesome, of course. He's not as awesome as me, but uh, who is? Let's get physical. Let's get physical. I want to get physical with all you ladies tonight. I will. I know. I know I will. I think there's, I think I, I counted 10 girls in this room. I'll probably sleep with you all by the end of the night. Just let you know. Good night. They'll probably strike Thank out. Thank you, Michael Heartbreaker. We'll hear more from you later. Don't forget, next week it's going to be Heartbreaker versus JJF on the same stage. And this week we've got Ricky the Stormwriter in a blindfolded guitar showdown against Davey from the JJF immediately following JJF. Rehearse. He's just gonna go in and start doing it. Um, are you ready now? I think Ricky likes to take his time setting up because he needs to make sure that it is as perfect as it always is every week here at Open Mic Night. That is true. It does take a long time to find that distorted guitar sound that is used in every single heavy metal song since the beginning of time. So I can understand why it takes him so long to set up. Yeah, what you said. Thank you. you ready now? How's that going? And I noticed noticing Dan Goldberg on drums, ladies and gentlemen. He's got some controversy with him too, Dan Goldberg. What do you feel about that, Michael? How does that happen to you? Uh, you know, the whole controversy with uh, JJF really doesn't bother me any because, you know, I mean, everybody sucks like involved, so why would I really have to deal with even talking about it right now?